Hi, welcome to Oka Hamster. Today I'll be viewing this Autovox wireless parking camera. And everything you see here costs about $140. Now let's break it up in two groups. These are for the front of the vehicle, these are for the back of the vehicle. For in front, this one is the goes over your existing rear view mirror, and here's the power adapter for it. For this power adapter, there is an additional USB port. So if you were already using your power car cigarette port to power your smartphone, you can just plug your smartphone to this one. As for the, on the back of the vehicle, here's the wireless transmitter. It did not come with any T-clips, so you just need to basically tie this to your reverse lights. Or just go by T-clips, they're very cheap. And here's the backup camera. This just mounts over your existing license plate. And for the license plate, use, save the bolts that you unscrew from it, because you can just reuse it here. This did not come with any, any sort of bolts or screws. And here's the power cable for it. Now, we got the user manual. If you want to read any part of this in more detail, just feel free to pause the video. But it's very straightforward. If you see my other detailed installation of the M1, you can follow those instructions on how to install the backup camera too. It's all set up, the look and feel, also the size is very similar to my existing rear mirror. And everything we just mounted using these elastic bands. Now I'm going to put the car in reverse. After about a second, the image shows up. And currently I have set up so I angled the camera. So every segment is about two feet. Let me move the car forward a little bit. So now it should be about two, four, six, a little over six feet from the, the next vehicle. Let's go out and take a look. Yeah. It's definitely a little, a little over six feet. So I can always place, park another car here. So this is great for parallel parking, especially when, when I'm in the city. As for the parking lines, I can always get rid of those by just snipping the green wire. Yeah. A lot of cars these days have the sonar, not the camera. And this is great for those that just want to set it up. Don't, they don't want to run the wire from the front to the back. They want to be wireless. And as you saw, the performance not much different. I'm going to set back to reverse again. And we can see that about less than a second, about half a second, the image shows up. The distance gauge, you can just adjust it yourself. So yes, I like this item and I'll recommend it. Well, thanks for watching this review. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Walker Hamster.